All right, everyone, uh, thank you for joining us here on uh, day two of the NHL draft and our media availability. Uh, thrilled to be uh, one of the first in our organization to welcome the newest member of the LA Kings. And uh, for a correct pronunciation, I will turn it over uh, to the young man in Sweden so we can hear it directly from him. Uh, please go ahead. Uh, Helge Grams. <laughs> thank you. And of course, uh, like I said earlier, welcome to the LA Kings. Uh, if you can initially Thank talk you. a little bit about uh, hearing uh, your name uh, for the first time, just some of the emotions that uh, went with that. Yeah, well, it's a uh, it's a dream come true to hear my name in the NHL draft, and I mean, I've been uh, I've been waiting for this, and uh, it's been a it's been a great uh, day now, and uh, I'm I'm very happy. Awesome. I, I'm not sure if that's your TV in the background, Helga. If you could yeah. mute that, we can hear a little of that. And uh, for the participating members of the media, uh, please uh, go ahead and type away with your questions in the Q&A uh, chat box, and uh, I will get to as many of them as I can. So uh, uh, real quick, before we start taking some questions from the media, um, where are you at right now? Are you home? Are you in your hometown? Uh, can you kind of just give us a little visual there? Yeah, I'm in Malmö right now. So uh, yeah, it's my home, but not my hometown. Uh, I'm from uh, Ljungby. It's uh, two hours away from uh, Malmö. And are you uh, watching with family, with friends? Uh, and what time is no. it there right now as we speak? Uh, I'm just watching with my girlfriend. Uh, the clock is uh, seven, uh, seven, half eight now. And uh, yeah. And talk a little bit about, uh, you know, watching uh, the first round of the draft, entering into the second. Did you kind of have expectations of where uh, you would land? No, well, uh, I was uh, I was watching the first round and uh, hoping for hearing my name there, but uh, I didn't hear it. So uh, I'm I'm very happy to hear it today, and uh, I'm uh, very honored. Great. Can you talk a little bit uh, about the conversations maybe you had with members of the King scouting staff? I know Christian Rutu, a former NHL player, is based there in Europe. How much interaction did you have with the Kings? before uh, hearing the Kings uh, uh, select you? Well, I think we had uh, maybe two, two, three uh, meetings and uh, yeah, some conversations uh, after some games, uh, yeah. Let's talk about uh, what you bring to the organization on the ice. Uh, for Kings fans who are obviously not familiar with your game, can you describe your game and uh, what you think you bring to our organization? Yeah, well, I see myself as a uh, quite uh, offensive uh, two-way defenseman uh, who is playing uh, good with the puck and uh, having good uh, pass passing game and uh, can shoot the puck good as well. Oh, what would be a, a goal for you in terms of a, a timeline? Um, obviously, you're in Sweden right now. The, the NHL is the goal. How do you sort of see yourself from where you're sitting right now to ultimately reaching that goal in terms of a uh, developing into an NHL player? Yeah, well, of course, uh, getting into the NHL is the dream and uh, I'll do everything I can to come there. And uh, right now I'm, uh, I'm here in Sweden and playing in the SHL and uh, trying to develop more. Uh, the Kings, uh, you know, have had obviously a lot of players from Sweden over the years. Uh, uh, some of our prospects are from Sweden. Do, do you have any uh, relationships, uh, anyone um, who uh, you, you know in the organization as you start here day one? Uh, no, actually not. Uh, I knew uh, Oscar Fantenberg, he, who played uh, two years ago now. Yeah. He's from the same, uh, same hometown as me. Great. Uh, you know, when, when the Kings, uh, when the NHL announced your selection, you know, there was a lot of talk about your size at, at 6'3". And um, I, I believe that uh, you're by far the tallest member of your family. Um, yeah. You talk a little bit about your uh, your your height and you know sort of your uh, body composition here at your young age. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, uh, I, I'm a, a little bit taller than my parents, and uh, I got it from my grandpa, grandpa, I think, and uh, I need to gain some more muscles and uh, maybe change some uh, weight and. Uh, yeah, getting more stronger. One of the attributes um, that was certainly highlighted was your skating ability. You know, how much of it 
how much of an asset do you see that for yourself? Yeah, well, I see my my uh, when I get up to speed, I, I think I, I speed uh, pretty good. But uh, yeah, I need to work more on my uh, my first uh, strides and uh, yeah, being a little bit more quicker. Um, is there a current NHL defenseman who uh, maybe you pattern your game after, or or maybe you would compare your game to? Oh, uh, well, I like uh, I like the Swedish defensemen in uh, NHL, uh, such as uh, Jan Klingberg. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit like him. A lot of um, scouts talked about your improvement uh, over the second half of last season in particular. Can you pinpoint uh, what specifically, what areas that you improved upon, which you think helped get you to where we're at at this moment? Well, uh, I, I improved my defensive side more and more in the SHL and uh, I felt better after every game. And uh, yeah, I felt stronger and uh, more comfortable in the SHL. How, uh, you know, growing up in Sweden, how much did you follow the NHL at a young age? And, and even going back to when you were starting to play the game at a young age, were there certain uh, NHL heroes you had, so to speak? Well, no, not uh, not so many, but uh, of course I loved uh, Niklas Lidström and uh, Erik Karlsson, Victor Hedman, and uh, yeah, John Klingberg too. Uh, just uh, how about North America? Ha have you spent time in North America? Have Have you been to the United States or, or California in particular? Yeah, I've been to LA before on vacation uh, with my family. And what were some of those experiences? How long uh, How long ago was that? And uh, and what are some of your memories from that trip? Well, it was like two years ago, and uh, I I remember that the city was uh, very big and very nice, and uh, yeah, I liked it there. And uh, with the Kings organization in particular, um, have you? Uh, you know, obviously the team had Stanley Cup success uh, uh, several years ago, uh, are now kind of in a, a transition. Um, do you see yourself as the type of uh, young prospect that can uh, play together well with other young players and, and develop uh, in, in, in the right way? Yeah, well, uh, I hope so that I'm uh, a guy to to make some difference in a team and uh, yeah, keep pushing my teammates to get better at the same time. Well, we appreciate the time here uh, this morning here in Los Angeles, a little yep. later where you're at. Again, congratulations and uh, welcome Thank to the you. LA Kings. Thank you.